We now know a lot more about what a turn of Warhammer the Old World will look like, and there's also a way to make your trips move at triple speed. First, let's look at the way you can make your trips move at three times movement. Then we'll look at the first eight of the 16 sub-phases of a turn. So in Warhammer the Old World, you're going to be able to march at three times movement if you're marching in a column. Three times speed is not even the biggest change that the marching column formation has made to the game. The biggest change is that you can no longer get a rank bonus and you can't charge if your unit is more models deep than it is wide. So unless armies like Skaven get a special rule, then this will have a massive effect on their ability to survive combat and the bus formation is probably dead. The three times movement marching is likely to mean that a hole in your battle line at setup can be harshly exploited by any enemy who moves into it and wheels. To put that another way, it's quite possible for infantry with a movement of six to end up right in your battle line, ready to make or receive a charge next turn, as long as they're not too close to the enemy when they're marching. Now this sounds like a new interesting challenge. If dwarves keep their ability to march even when right beside enemy units, then they might surprise a few people with their ability to manoeuvre while close to an enemy. Now on to that turn sequence. We now know there's four phases in each turn, and each phase is split into four sub-phases, which will hopefully make it easier to remember. So we now know all four phases and the first eight sub-phases. Nice. The turn's going to look something like this. First off, the strategy phase. That has the start of turn sub-phase, command, conjuration, and rally fleeing troops. Next we're on to the movement phase which has declare chargers, charge moves, compulsory moves and remaining moves. Then we're on to the shooting phase. Now to me the shooting phase is probably quite likely to have conjuration in it. It's probably going to have black powder weapons and normal weapons. So that's probably three phases of the shooting phase. I don't know what the fourth one's going to be. Then we've got the combat phase and that's got four phases too. I'm sure one of them is going to be attacking your enemy and one of them is going to be the enemy attacking back. Uh, and probably the last one's going to be working out whether or not you've uh, lost or won combat and then running away if you fail your leadership test. So we can be pretty clear about what the turn's going to look like now. So the other key points in the article are charging is now movement plus the highest of 2d6. Chargers need to wheel again and measure that as part of the charge, just like in some older editions. And units can move sideways or backwards at half speed. Moving backwards at half speed is quite important. Moving sideways, you could also pivot 90 degrees, move sideways and pivot 90 degrees again. So that's not particularly surprising. But being able to move backwards at half speed is quite important for the game. Anyway, that wraps it up for my quick update on these rules. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.